Hello, hi everyone, it's Frank here. I uh, just wanted to uh, show you how to run DU through Kalex Point. Um, they made it a lot easier and um, should be really easy for us to run now. So check it out, they moved it. So it's, uh, first you gotta do your 1003, has to be complete, um, you know, the sections now, they don't have the pages, so make sure you, you go through all the sections and complete them and do your worksheet, your fees worksheet and your, you know, your funds to close and get all that straight and price it and all that. Once you have all that done, um, you just come here to services. Uh, it used to be under interfaces, uh, not to be confused. Uh, go to services. Uh, you're going to go to Fanny Do. Um, on the first time you do this, you're going to have to put all your credentials in there. Um, uh, remember, uh, the broker, it's DO, and then the lender is DU. So um, plug in your credentials for your credit. Um, you're going to do credit underwriting on the first time. Preliminary, you still release it to the um, lender once you have it free approved and you have an address and you're ready to submit. Rerun it with all that credentials and put it in there uh, under final. And um, select your lender. This is where you refresh the lender, hit, hit refresh, and the lenders list will, will pop up and you get to pick from all your lenders that are on there. Let me see. And then you select your credit vendor and then you collect your, your, um, your ID and, and password. Uh, and then you hit submit and it's going to tell you what's wrong if it's not approved. So you'll have to fill in the months left uh, for the liabilities, or you'll have to fill in more assets or, you know, play with it um, from this, but you're not having to do everything all over, you know? So um, it keeps everything nice and simple and it should make things a lot easier when you're running findings. So I hope this helps and let me know what you think. Thanks.